Let's talk about nouns. What is a noun? A noun is a word that names something, such as a person, place, thing, or idea. In a sentence, nouns can play various roles like that of a subject, direct object, indirect object, subject complement, object complement, a positive or adjective. And every time we speak or write, we always use nouns. That's how important they are. One important distinction to be made is whether a noun is a proper noun or a common noun. A proper noun is a specific name of a person, place, or thing and is always capitalized. Whereas a common noun is the generic name of an item in a class or group and is not capitalized unless appearing at the beginning of a sentence or in a title. So generally, proper nouns are capitalized while common nouns are not, except if a common noun is found at the beginning of a sentence or used in a title. Let's have these examples of proper noun used in a sentence. 1. Does Amber have much work to do this evening? Amber is a proper noun. Use a subject in a sentence. 2. I want to visit the Niagara Falls upon arrival in Canada. There are two proper nouns here. The name of the falls, Niagara, and the place, Canada. 3. Steph Curry made sure the Warriors won over James and the Lakers at the opening game of the NBA. There are five proper nouns here. The names of the players, Steph Curry and LeBron James, their respective teams, Warriors and the Lakers, and of course, the National Basketball Association or NBA where both of these players are playing. So notice that proper nouns are capitalized. The opposite of proper nouns are common nouns. Let's take these examples. 1. The fisherman crossed the river. The fisherman is a common noun. And we don't know the identity as used in the sentence. Had we known his identity and put his name instead, it becomes a proper noun. The river is also a common noun being the generic name for the body of water. 2. I found this wallet along the pathway. Wallet here is a common noun referring to a particular item. And pathway is also a common noun referring to a particular place where people would usually walk along. 3. Cake is one of my favorite desserts. Although as a general rule, common nouns cannot be capitalized, cake here is used at the beginning of the sentence. So that is the exception to the rule. But cake is still here a common noun, like desserts, which is the generic name for a particular group of foods or food items like cake.
There are at least three different types of common nouns. First, we have concrete noun. A concrete noun is something that is perceived by the senses, something that is physical or real. Let's have the examples. 1. I heard the siren. My guitar is expensive. The word siren and guitar are concrete nouns because both can be perceived by the senses as in you heard the siren and you see and can touch the guitar so concrete nouns are obviously something that can be perceived by the senses number two are abstract nouns an abstract noun is something that cannot be perceived by the senses this is contrary to concrete nouns. Examples 1. I appreciate his kindness. Kindness cannot be perceived by the senses. She took much courage to overcome it. Courage like kindness cannot be perceived. 3. His love for her is genuine. Love just like kindness and courage are abstract nouns because all of them cannot be perceived, although by the outward manifestation of the actor, you can observe kindness, courage, or love. The third type of common nouns are collective nouns. A collective noun denotes a group or collection of people or things or maybe animals let's have the following examples one this bunch of flowers is beautiful two that pride of lions is fearsome three a school of fish is a joy to watch a bunch of flowers is a group or a collection of flowers so it is a collective noun a group of lions is called a pride. A group of fish is called a school. But notice that after these collective nouns, we use the singular is. It is because collective nouns take a singular verb as if they are one entity. In this case, the singular verb is after bunch of flowers pride of lions, or a school of fish. Nouns can be used as subjects. We know that every sentence must have a subject, and the subject of a sentence is the person, place, or thing that is doing the act or being the verb in that sentence. Let's have these examples. One. Angel is beautiful. Angel is a noun that is used as subject of the sentence and it is a proper noun. 2. Everest is the highest mountain. Everest is a noun used as a subject of the sentence and it is a proper noun also. 3. My favorite food is adobo. Adobo here as a noun is being used as a verb in the sentence and it is a common noun unlike angel and everest so nouns can be used as subjects in sentences or verb in other sentences as well Nouns can also be used as objects of a verb in a sentence. An object can be either a direct object, that is a noun that receives the action performed by the subject, or an indirect object, that is a noun that is the recipient of a direct object. Let us have this example. Give this pen to him. In this particular example, pen is a direct object that is what is being given and him is the indirect object or to whom 
the pen is being given to. This is how nouns are being used as object, either direct object or an indirect object. Nouns can also be used as a subject complement or an object complement. In this particular example, number one, actress is used as a subject complement. While in example number two, husband and wife are nouns used as object complement in this particular sentence. You have to take note that verbs that denote making, naming, or creating are often followed by object complements, while subject complements normally follow linking verbs like to be, become, or seem. Nouns can also be used as an appositive. An appositive noun is a noun that immediately follows another noun in order to further define or identify it. Let's take the following example. My daughter, Shane, is 14 years old. Shane is an appositive here. Further identifying the subject of the sentence, my daughter. Nouns can also be used as modifiers. Sometimes nouns can be used adjectively as well. If we look at the particular example here, Usain Bolt is a speed demon. Speed is normally used as a noun. But here in this particular example, it is acting as an adjective to modify the word demon. This is how nouns are used as adjective or modifiers. That's all for now. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your love and support. See you soon again.